So Mark Todd is one of the greatest sporting icons in the world. As an event rider, he was a double Olympic gold medalist with the great charisma. He's won multiple badmintons, burleys, world championship gold medals with the New Zealand team. But now his focus is very much on racing. For the past three seasons, he's been training here in Wiltshire. And this year, he has his very first runner at Royal Ascot. Hey, Toddy. Hi, Claire. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good We've got a nice you. day for it. I know. I'm looking forward to seeing Tasman Bay. Are you ready for the big hat and the colour? And he's funny, like when you go and feed him in the morning, because I do all the morning feeds, he's got to have a cuddle. Oh, I see. <laughs> he's, he just he puts his head on you and sort of rolls around like this. And he's got to so, what time in the morning is that? Six. We don't start too early here. So your first runner at Royal Ascot. I know, it's a bit hard to believe really, but now really looking forward to it. And it's been quite a transition from being the man in the saddle, but actually then being the one handing over to somebody else. How have you found it? It is always a little bit difficult. You do all the work at home and then you know, leg somebody else up to have the fun bit. Do you actually ride Tasman Bay yourself? I do, yeah, yeah. Well, luckily he's big enough that he can take me. <laughs> and what's he like? What does he feel like to you? He's a beautiful horse. Like, he is a great big horse. He's very well balanced. He's well mannered. He's just a joy to ride. And he seems to be getting stronger in his races. And he's definitely a horse who's at his best. He's got this huge, relentless stride. I'm really looking forward to, to him having a go and, and having decent pace in the race. Now, have you been to Royal Ascot as a spectator? Yes, certainly. I get my old dressage top hat out and do it up and off we go. Is it really? Do you go in your dressage kit? I do. So is that the top hat that you would have won Olympic gold medals in? And, yeah, and same way. Yeah, really? Yeah. So it's got a bit of heritage to it. Yeah, I know. It's had a remake a couple of times because they get fairly well abused when, they're being, uh, when you're riding. And when you went then for fun, was that with other eventers or was that with racing folk? Well, the last couple of times I've been with Sir Peter Vella, who actually owns Tasman Bay. It's really exciting that we've actually got a run for him there this year. Uh, he's a terrific man and he's been a really strong supporter of yours. To have a horse of his his caliber to start off with is, is really good. You don't often get to Royal Ascot with a decent pedigree and, and a lovely type and it's an advantage. You've always been somebody who's been pretty clear in the goals you set yourself. You like to have a challenge. What's the goal here? If I could win a group one race um, and I'm not going to be fussy which one um, that, that would be, you know, the ultimate. Royal Ascot is, is widely renowned as the best week of horse racing anywhere in the world in terms of quality. There are going to luckily be at least a crowd there. How much do you enjoy the occasion? Are you, are you good on the day? It sort of starts now, doesn't it? That you keep your fingers crossed that nothing, nothing goes wrong and that the preparation goes smoothly. And I will be a bit nervous when, uh, if the horse gets there and leading them into the parade ring. Take me back to when you know, you were a little tiny Mark Todd running around as a kid. What sort of ambition did you have in, in terms of riding? Did you want to be an event or did you actually want to be a jockey? Yeah, I wanted to be a jockey, but I soon realized, you know, once I turned 16, it wasn't going to be a possibility. So well, um, just because you were too tall? I was too tall, yeah, it wasn't an option. Luckily, the, the option you then did take, you were very, very good at. and. It took you all over the world with amazing success and excitement. How would you sum up that period of your life as an event rider? I've been extremely fortunate um, that you know horses have taken me all around the world. I've uh, been to Olympic Games, been to World Championships, been to loads of different countries, met amazing people and great horses, and it's been a wonderful journey. And the greatest horse with whom you were associated was Charisma. Now, he was thoroughbred, wasn't he? He was nearly 1 16th Percheron. The rest was thoroughbred. <laughs> Where the Percheron came from, I don't know, but yeah. Did he think he was a racehorse? He did, he could really gallop. I mean, he was only barely 15-3. He nearly always had the fastest time cross country. Had a huge engine. It's just so exciting, isn't it, to have a horse of this quality and that gives you hope of running in top yeah. grade races yeah. or at top meetings. Yeah. Well, good luck, fella. Hmm? Put your best foot forward, won't you? You've had enough. I think that's the sign. <laughs> huh? Good luck. We'll see how he gets on in the King Edward the Seventh on the Friday of Royal Ascot.